Hey, welcome back. We're kicking off this terrific Tuesday hour two with uh, my favorite segment, the Mix It Up. We're the only show on television that brings in unpaid contributors, both Democrats and Republicans. I throw out the topics of the day. They mix it up on the topics. I mix up a drink, sit back and relax. And uh, two fine purple people join us today. Uh, conservative attorney, former New York State uh, Assemblyman, uh, State, State Senator. Senator, David Storobin joins us on the right. And a uh, great friend of the show also, Rob Taub, joins us. He's uh, the author of The Centrist Sentiments. He's a comic, humorist, and uh, ambassador for the American Diabetes, American Heart Association, and uh, mainly the ambassador of the No Diabetes by Heart campaign. Dot org, yeah. Dot John, org. I'm a little stunned. So all those checks I've gotten from you are going to bounce because I, I'm unpaid? I thought I... Well, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I thought I was making a nah, you know what? Here. Because I say often that we're the only show on television that brings on a Democrat and a Republican every day. That and is some true. Some people have tried to poo-poo that and say, well, other shows do it. No. The left-wing shows pay right-wing people to come on and be punching bags, and the right-wing shows pay left-wing people to come on. Um, we don't have the budget to I pay anyone. I get beat anyone. up for and, free. Yeah, exactly. You guys do it for, for free. But uh, there's so much going on, um, and I want to take a look. I want you guys, first and foremost, I've been raging about this, because James Comey was all Mr. High and Mighty for the last couple of years, um, and now it looks like he's finally made an admission here. Um, Take a look at what James Comey said on the Sunday shows this weekend. I was wrong. 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 Sat ten. That we need sat nine. Um, he said I was wrong a couple times. I would say, um, but can we take a look at sat nine? The Comey we was talking about. Uh, how he's a leader. Well, anyway, in, uh, on the Sunday shows, he, while he did, uh, Rob, admit that he was wrong a couple yes. times about the FISA process, he also said, you know, I was the leader and I'm accountable. Why did it take him two years to become accountable? He didn't look at any so documents? So we're focusing on an apology from James Comey. Is that supposed to just erase everything wrong that Donald Trump has done? Because that's what I think is the subtext here, John, from, from you. No. Donald Trump has never uttered these five words together. I'm sorry, I was he wrong, and he never will. Was he, he wrong so he far, the president? I think he's been on the money. Yeah, the whole coup that we have against the president of the United States, everything that's been said about him is a lie. It's the biggest conspiracy theory ever. It's been investigated with, what, $25, $40 million, how much they spent on it. No conspiracy theory has ever been investigated as much as this one. And they found nothing. I mean, you talk about debunked conspiracy theory. This is it. How many, th how many years do we need to investigate the same BS before we finally realize if we didn't find anything, there is nothing there? And they keep on kind of moving um, the goalpost here. But first off, he was a uh, Russian agent, and then he was uh, doing whatever he was doing. The reality is that they found nothing. He, and uh, there's nothing I, I, to are apologize we watching for. The Rob, same I don't know. I, I, okay, I, I, please tell me what proof is there that he's a Russian spy, which is exactly I, what they were investigating. I, I believe what we're investigating is that he was using the Ukrainian president. No, no, no. The Comey, uh, the Comey investigation. Oh, we're talking about Comey now. Yes, the okay. Comey investigation. I'm looking at the white Well, that's where all here. this started. Mm -hmm. all, this, all this started with, you know, the initial counterintelligence investigation that they thought he was a Russian asset. That's how all this started. Well, we're allowed right? to investigate that. That's what the FBI is there for. So he no, said, I'm we're sorry, not I was allowed wrong. to investigate it. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Why that, not? We're, no, we're not allowed. To, that's <laughs> the right. Fourth Amendment. It's it's actually not just the Fourth Amendment, incidentally. You are not allowed to just go out and investigate. This is what's called a fishing expedition. That's actually a legal can, term. Can you answer a question for me yes. then, since we're getting into these muddy waters? Why would Donald Trump, as the President of the United States, have a private conversation with Vladimir Putin, our, our supposed enemy? That, that, I mean, that, that's grounds Shouldn't enough for me to investigate. Shouldn't world leaders be talking to each other? That, yeah, but uh, not, sir, private, one second. Not, without a, not without a note taker. Of course, he, of course they should, because everyone has done it. FDR, and incidentally, named Joseph Stalin, who killed my great-grandfather. Uh, my to my relatives died uh, in purges, too. Uh, wonderful. And FDR called Joseph Stalin Uncle Joe. Truman met with Joseph Stalin. 
uh, everyone lived with Khrushchev, with Brezhnev, with Gorbachev. With uh, I don't think there were with, secret uh, silent meetings with Nikita were, Khrushchev. No, no, they were I'm going to bang my shoe in a minute. In fact, the, uh, the whole reason why they set up a phone that goes from the White House to the Kremlin is to allow for them to speak to each other without anyone being in the way. Because before, there would be letters being sent. And then they realized, no, we need, we need a way to communicate so that we can say things. Uh, that will not become public. That's been happening since forever. That was the whole point behind when ambassadors. When did they put in the, the, the I, red I may phone. seem calm on the outside right now, but there's a volcano exploding. There right is. Now all right. Me. Well, I'm you can you can let it out. You can go Mount Vesuvius. On I cry everyone. easily too, John. All right, I don't want you to cry. Okay. Not today. But uh, so let's get to the main event. The you know the main course, which is impeachment. Um, yesterday, the Supreme Court said they're going to hear this case about. The president saying executive privilege allows yes. him to not disclose all these congressional requests. So to me, that knocks one article of impeachment, uh, obstruction of Congress. They're saying he obstructed by not turning over this stuff. Now the Supreme Court says we're going to hear on it. So isn't, isn't the judiciary branch supposed to solve these issues? Yeah, but what, look, what I, I see as, as the major obstacle for Trump, there are two of them. One is Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, who was like a bull in a china shop. I don't know if you read the New Yorker piece and you saw him on Laura Ingraham last night. I think even she was stunned by all of this. He's like, sure, I wanted a gun. Yes, let's kill everybody. But in, in seriousness, Trump thinks it's a perfect phone call. And it's not. And that's gonna, that is going to be his undoing right there. He doesn't understand what is right or wrong. And if you have somebody that's going to bumble their way into that, then it, it will ultimately be his undoing, even if the Senate does not vote but it, would you, it, it, you think, that, Dave, you're an attorney. Is the yes. second article of impeachment even, should they even be allowed to vote on it, being that they're saying the obstruction is not turning over the documents, now the Supreme Court is going to hear that case. So how can they say well, that's obstruction? Well, every response from the left on this has been, no matter what uh, we say, well, this would never go in court. <laughs> This would never be allowed in court. Uh, their response is, this is not a court. Well, the uh, courts do, some, uh, do things a certain way to be fair. So what you say when you say it's not a court is, we don't care if it's fair, which is exactly what's happening. Nothing about this has, uh, would have been allowed in court. Literally nothing. You're a very good attorney, but in I fact, am a very good attorney. Uh, yeah, that's that's the, that doesn't mean that you're right. You I know? am absolutely right. No, because I, I no liberal so. actually denies it. No liberal actually comes out and says, no, this would be allowed in court. The okay. response inevitably always is, because no, this, this is, is not a, a It's a congressional and Senate exactly, hearings. Exactly. It's not a court of law. Exactly. It, according the court, to the Constitution, we can impeach somebody. Correct? And the court, one second, and the court <laughs> tries to make things fair. And you do need a crime, a high crime, or a misdemeanor in this case also. And the difference between this kangaroo court and the real court from which I just came, came from and to which I'm going back, the difference between the courts where, even in New York where we are right now, it's all Democrat liberal judges, but those judges try to make things fair. What we see with this process, when you say this is not a court, is an admission that what you're doing is not fair. I like the fact that, um, you know, people saying, oh, well, uh, Rudy intruded and uh, he, had, he was running the shadow he government. He doesn't work for the government. He's the president's private attorney. He doesn't have private a government. Private investigators position. are allowed to investigate also. Right. If the he's president so, sends his attorney to investigate. He is acting as investigate. if he's the secretary of state. He's I, behaving wildly inappropriately. Take a look at what uh, Rudy had to Please, say about uh, uh, Yovanovitch, uh, Ambassador Yovanovitch. Peace, and it's a hit piece. Of course. Also has you on the record admitting that you forced out Marie Ivanovich. Of course You said I did. you needed her out of the way, but I, you're a personal attorney for the president, so why do you need her out of the way? I didn't need her out of the way. I, I forced her out because she's corrupt. I came back uh, with a document that will show unequivocally that she committed perjury. He forced uh, her out? Yeah. Who is he? Uh, who, who's his... Wh you who, who gotta gave him love, the power to do You gotta that? love when he points to the elephant in the room. No, no, no. Of he's course, a sugar I forced, forced her out. Okay? She needs he's to be not, forced out. She was corrupt. Oh, John, John. She was corrupt. I, I, she's she, a, she had this. I'm she speechless. had this. 
She had this chummy relationship with the former administration. She participated with Joe Biden in making sure that they got rid of the, the investigator, the uh, prosecutor she's who was going after Burisma. Life she's long not. She's a deep stater. She's a deep stater. She's a deep stater, if you ask me. Yeah, a, really life, a lifelong bureaucrat is exactly that. That's exactly You guys know where swamp. all the bodies are buried. Who, buried, who, who really <laughs> shot Kennedy? Will I learn that before I leave today? <laughs> you can call it a deep state. You can call it whatever I else. Will. But it's, there is a bunch of people who, are, who got their permanent jobs. And no matter who we elect, they stay there and they do whatever they want. <laughs> I mean, and a lot of them admit, admit that. <laughs> Notice that uh, they say the president of the United States is un undermining the foreign policy of the United States. Yes, How could that is. be? The president of the United Easily. States sets the foreign policy. But what happens is that those unelected workers, people whose names we don't even know, people who cannot be apparently fired for screwing up for all the wars that they began, for all the economic issues that they caused, all those people, all those unnamed faceless people, believe that they run the government. They don't. The President of the United States does not undermine the policy of the United States. As, as President Barack Obama said, elections have consequences. Yes, they do. Uh, Trump, Trump is undermining the guy alone. He's undermining the United States. Leave the guy alone. Leave him alone already. Let him be the President. Exactly. Let him be the President for one minute. One minute. Let's start with one minute. You yeah, know? let him fix the well, road. I coach like high school football. Care. I would say, easy. hey, guys, let's start the game not worrying about winning. Let's get one first down and grow off that. Why don't they let him be president unhindered I'll consider for supporting one Trump if I get minute. one of those Kit Kats. The Kit Kats are all yours. You guys there are we great. Go. We agree on one thing. Okay, this world is out of control. This whole damn court's out of order. Mix It Up is over for today. Rob Tapp, David Strobin, thank you very much. <laughs> Quick break, coming back with David Grasso right after this to talk about China trade. Wait a minute.